What? Um, I, I was told you could train me. No. Go away. I'm not leaving. Please, all I ask is a moment of your time. I apologize if I've been unclear or otherwise confused you with my words. It was never my intention to mislead, so let me try to clarify. Get the hell off my land. Just hear me out. What are you so afraid of? Afraid? You think I'm afraid of anything? They still all self-important little scab like you? Ah. Oh, you might dream of being a hero, of riding to rescues, of saving the world. But stay this course, and the only thing you're gonna be is dead. The world's moved on, boy. Best you do, too. I will not leave, do you hear me? I'm never leaving. These are square toes. This'll be easy. That's what you said last time, and I wound up with a dead horse and a dark eye. Who are you? No one you need concern yourself with, little britches. Best cut for something bad happens. No. Can't say we didn't warn you. Why are you here? What do you want? Best to ask the boss man. Ugh. You working for the old man then? That it? Maybe this will get you talking. Oh. Up. Then I suppose we should talk. Sorry. Not your fault. This whole place is ready to come down. Goddamn miracle it hasn't already. Anyway, who are you? My name is Rado Hangado. Right. Well, I'm not even going to try and pronounce that. Now, tell me why you're here. I was told to seek this symbol. Do you even know what that symbol represents? Or what it is you're asking for? No. And yet, here you are. The spirit said that, that I am... spirits of yours have been harassing the assassins for centuries, ever since Ezio uncorked the bottle. Uh, but you don't even know what an assassin is, do you? Well, best settled in then. I've got a story to tell, and it's gonna take a while to get it all out. And so, this is why the Assassins have dedicated themselves to the pursuit of the Templars. Because if they succeed, your spirit's visions will become reality. Then I will stop them. Oh, I have no doubt you'll try. <sighs> Come on, I've something to show you. Huh. A 
don't think you can just come in here, throw those on, and call yourself an assassin. I, I did not. I, I would never presume... That's all right. I know they've a certain allure. Very well. I'll train you. Then we'll know if you've the right to wear those robes. Thank you. Um... Name's Achilles. Come on, then. We've work to do. You are a speck of dust, a nothing. You and all your kind, living in the dirt like animals, oblivious to the true ways of the world. What do the Templars want? What they've always wanted, control. They see an opportunity in the colonies, a chance for new beginnings, unfettered by the chaos of the past. This is why they backed the British. Here they have a chance to illustrate the merits of their beliefs, a people in service to the principles of order and structure. I have seen what is to come if they succeed. They have to die, don't they? All of them. Even my father. Especially your father. He's the one holding the whole thing together. Good morning. To you as well. You taking a trip? I've decided to do something about the house. And you're going to help me. Get it. There's a store close to here. You're to buy the items on this list. Tell them where the carriage is, and they'll see that it's loaded. Understood? Yes. Good. You're also going to need a new name. Your skin is fair enough that you might pass for one with uh, Spanish or Italian blood. Better to be thought a Spaniard than a native. And both are better still than I. That is not true. What's true and what is aren't always the same. What would you call me then? Kana. Yes, that will be your name. All right then, off you go. I say again, disperse. Congregating in this manner is forbidden. We're not going anywhere, Buzz. Oi! Why don't you go back to England? No good can come of this chaos! Return to your homes, and all will be forgiven! Never! Not until you've answered for your crimes! You're right, coward! You don't scare us! Pointing guns and unarmed! We ain't afraid! There. Is that... my father? Yes, which means trouble is sure to follow. I need you to tail his accomplice. This crowd is a powder kick. We can't allow him to light the fuse. But... But nothing. Do as I say and go. Your plot is ended. Not quite. <laughs> oh, damn you! Fire!
Welcome back. You left me in Boston. The training we've done here is all well and good. But experience is a better teacher by far. What of my father? Into the wind, I'm afraid. We have to find him. And we will, after the house has been repaired. But he's out there, plotting who knows what. And what would you do when you found him? If you found him? You're a boy with a few months of training. He's a man, full grown, who spent decades honing his skills. If you're going to stand a chance against the Templars, you're going to need these. Go on before I change my mind. Go away! I said go away, boy! Do you not speak the king's English? Oh, I didn't see you there, old man. I'd have set my home in order if I'd known you'd be calling. Your boy's name is Connor. He's here to restore the property. Restore? Restore? Pardon my manners. She's still the fastest in the Atlantic. Sure, she needs some attention. Minor things, mostly, but with a little affection, she'll fly again. Who is she? Who is she? Why, the Aquila boy, the ghost of the North Seas. The boat. A, a boat? She's a ship boy, and make no mistake about it. I thought you brought him here to restore order. I reckon he's the greenest thing on the frontier. Connor, meet me back at the manor when you've finished here. You said it requires repairs. You able? She does need work. A ship is a she, boy. And yes, I can refit her, but I'm lacking in the proper supplies. Some... some quality timber would help me get started. I can see to that. How long before it... she... is able to sail again? Just get me the lumber, boy. And I'll raise a crew. Three weeks. And not even a goodbye before you left. Sorry. Well, what are you waiting for? Put them on. Once upon a time, we had a ceremony on such occasions. But I don't think either of us are really the type for that. You've your tools and training, your targets and goals. And now you have your title. Welcome to the Brotherhood, Connor. These are troubled times. The already uneasy alliance between the Crown and its subjects frays. And behind them both the Templars plot, pulling strings and moving pieces. History dictates they seek order through control. But how will they affect it here? Who supports them? And what conspiracies have they Connor. already spun? Spare All a these moment. Things I must determine. Of course. For only Never by look. knowing my enemy can I hope to stop them. What is it? Xing Bao. Or rope dart, if you prefer. One of the many plans given to us by Xiao Yun to. <sighs> Sorry. We'll have to work on this.
Ganondogo. Yes, my friend. What brings you here? Is the village all right? For now. What do you mean? What has happened? Men came, claiming we had to leave. They said that the land was being sold and that the Confederacy had consented. We sent an envoy, but they would not listen. You must refuse! We cannot oppose the Sachem, but you're right as well. We cannot give up our home. Do you have a name? Do you know who is responsible? He is called William Johnson. Where is Johnson now? In Boston, making preparations for the sale. Sale? This is theft! Karma, take care. These men are powerful. What would you have me do? I made a promise to my people. If you insist upon this course of action, seek out Sam Adams in Boston. You'll be able to help. What have you done? When my people go to war, a hatchet is buried into a post to signify its start. When the threat is ended, the hatchet is removed. Uh, you could have used a tree. Kana, what are you doing? Those poachers need to be stopped. I saw the scabs from my hunting blind. Get to that, and you shouldn't have any trouble finding them. Use the rope dart if you can. Get familiar with it. Thank you, Achilles. You are most welcome. Why did those men attack you? It's no secret this land is full with game. I spotted the trespassers en route to request permission to hunt here myself, and suggested they do the same. The bounty of the forest is not mine to give. It is your right to hunt on this land, but I would appreciate you trading your surplus with the others. Very well. I accept. I have what you asked for. I must know who put it there and for what purpose. I did. I put it somewhere I knew only I could reach. But that was a long time ago. Who does that belong to? These were the robes of the first assassin to come to the colonies. William Johnson is dead, and with him, the Templar plot to steal the land of my people. But in ending this threat, I have revealed another. On his body was a letter addressed to John Pitcairn containing orders to root out and destroy Patriot weapons and supplies. Should he succeed in this, the colonists will be unable to maintain their resistance, and the Templars will surely take control. So long as Pitcairn lives, the danger remains. I need to find him. He needs to die. I thought it might bring clarity or instill a sense of accomplishment, but all I feel is regret. Hold fast to that. Such sacrifices must never come lightly. I had to do it. Not only for my people, but for all the others Johnson would have harmed. It's a start. But to truly be free of Templar influence, all of them must be dealt with in turn. Even your father... I know. You speak the words, but do you believe them? Seems we've company. What is it? A request for aid from Paul Revere. Seems the Redcoats are up to something in Boston. Guess you made an impression on the Sons of Liberty. They mistake me for one of their own. Please tell Mr. Revere he has my sympathies, but I cannot help at present. You might wish to reconsider. John Pitcairn is mentioned by name. Where am I to go? Mr. Revere's house in Boston. If you'd like, I can... My enemy is tenacious. When money failed them, they took to force. But I have slain Johnson and Pitcairn both, ending their plots. 
George Washington now rallies the colonists and their march towards freedom begins in earnest. Little wonder then that the Templars now want him dead. They seek to reshape this land into something cold and ordered, something soulless. And he is an obstacle. I must save him, that his cause can flourish and my people remain safe. But the more I prod, the greater the chance I am discovered. The Templars believe their men lost the revolution. In their eyes, the assassins are gone and scattered, no longer a threat. But I fear they will soon discover the truth, and me along with it. I must tread carefully. How fares the hunt, Connor? There is progress, but I worry it is not enough. You must strike where you need it most. What if you pursued Charles Lee and your father? What then of Paul Revere and the soldiers at Lexington? Soldiers? There were no soldiers in those towns, only men and women who were forced to defend themselves. Is this not why you fight? To protect your people? Your struggle is the colonist's struggle. In helping one, you help the other. Encouraging words from one who thought mine a fool's errand. <laughs> Make no mistake, I still do. But I can't help but feel some pride in your success. And why should I give you any credit? Then don't. But uh, first, return the robe and the blade and the, and the darts and all of the years of training and knowledge I have bestowed upon you. Return these and then your words may have some merit. Or you could just admit that you are wrong. Oh, child, please, you've killed two men, one more salesman than soldier. You're gonna have to try a lot harder than that to impress me. Is that so, old man? Or perhaps we should step outside. I will gladly demonstrate how easily I could... Trounce. Connor, this is Benjamin Talmich. His father was one of us, no need for secrecy. I think he has something he wants to say. Achilles tells me you've uncovered a plot to murder the Commander-in-Chief. Yes, but I have only false starts and dead ends to show for it. Not anymore, my friend. Thomas Hickey's your man, and I aim to help you catch him. How? I'll explain on the way. You and I are going to New York. Alone. Only give a cry when you need us. Forget about me. You need to stop Hickey. He's... Uh, up you go. Don't want to be late now, do we? You just had to be an hero, didn't you? You and Georgie both. Now you see what he gets you. A pine box and little else. May God have mercy on yourself. Need to stop, Hickey. Go! It's quite impressive what you've accomplished. Is that a compliment? Now, don't misconstrue. I'm sure the whole endeavor will end tragically. But to have come this far, well, it's more than I ever expected. The people yearned for freedom but feared to grab hold of it. That fear is gone now. Thanks to you? No. This they did on their own. You diminish your role. But you have always been of humble heart. I do what is right. No more, no less. You cannot tell him. I have to. Otherwise, he will never be safe. He is safer not knowing. By planting the seeds of doubt, you threaten to topple his entire endeavor. If Washington is paralyzed, Charles Lee will strike. You'll cause the very thing you aim to prevent. Hunt the Templars, as is your duty. But do not drag these men into it. 
Don't do this, Connor. Then what would you propose we do? Sit and watch while the Templars take control? We are sworn to stop them, or have you forgotten? Assassins are meant to be quiet, precise. We do not go announcing conspiracies from the rooftops to all who pass by. Who are you to lecture anyone? You locked yourself away in this crumbling heap and gave up on the Brotherhood entirely. Since the day I arrived, you've done nothing but discourage me. And on the rare occasions you've chosen to help, you've done so little, you may as well have done nothing at all. How dare you! Then tell me, on whose watch did the Brotherhood falter? Whose inaction allowed the Templar Order to grow so large that it now controls an entire nation? If I sought to dissuade you, it was because you knew nothing. If I was reluctant to contribute, it was because you were naive. A thousand times you would have died and taken God knows how many with you. Let me tell you something, Connor. Life is not a fairy tale, and there are no happy endings. No. Not when men like you are left in charge. In your haste to save the world, boy, take care you don't destroy it. Ha! Welcome back. And how was Martinique? Achilles, I... I owe you an apology. It was wrong of me to say the things I did. Your words were harsh, Connor, but there was also truth there. I failed the Order, allowed the Templars to take control. But now their hold is weakened, which makes me believe there's a chance for peace. Imagine what might be accomplished if we were to unite. Why the change of heart? Where is this coming from? You've met your father, haven't you? I do not claim to trust the man or even like him. But I would be remiss to ignore this opportunity. Haytham may listen, but will he understand? And even if he does, will he agree? Even he must admit that we can achieve more together than we do alone. I assume you're off to find him. Yes. I ride for New York to see what might be done. It is beautiful, old man. It is. I've found a painting for the space above the mantle. It's being held in New York. If you get a moment, I'd like you to pick it up for me. Certainly. Good. It may not be there, as the house where it was stored lay in the path of the Great Fire. If so, were I not? I have the painting you sent me for. Would you like some help hanging it? Maybe not just yet. Connor, he's asking for you. Hello, Connor. <gasps> Come now. Your sadness won't sustain me any more than that fool woman's soups and potions. Tell me of your latest exploits. Charles Lee has been exposed and the Patriots finally rid of him. They march now to secure the remaining cities that this country might finally be free. Then you have won. The land and your people are safe. Yet you seem troubled. Washington spared Lee's life. So long as he lives, all are in danger. The same is true for your father. When you first came to me, you understood what had to be done. Swore you'd see it through. If not for the Brotherhood, for your people. 
and all those threatened by the Templars. But with Lee gone, my father might... Listen to me. You have not come this far to throw it all away over misplaced sentiment. Both men must die. A Achilles. There is nothing more to discuss. Old man. Achilles. What is it? Achilles has passed. I'm so sorry. He passed peacefully and with dignity. A service then? Yes. Please prepare something appropriate. I will see the grave is dug. Can you gather everyone? Anna, if you are reading this, I have failed to say goodbye as I wanted, but the time never seemed appropriate. I leave this land and all its resources to you. I trust you now know this place has become something of great significance. A community to serve as an example of what this would-be nation could become. But the larger and stronger it grows, the more fragile and difficult to defend it becomes. I hope your friends who are birthing this infant country understand this truth. Your unwavering tenacity and honesty have burdened you with responsibility far greater than any one man should bear. But you, if anyone, are capable. You have given an old man hope that all is not lost. And for that, I thank you. I ask that you lay my bones to rest on the hill overlooking the water. There is no other place on this earth I'd rather be. I am grateful to have met you, knowing you will guide this land and these people to a better future. Yours in brotherhood. Prayer and sermon do not suit this occasion. Achilles was not a man of God, not my God at any rate. But he certainly believed in a guiding force, and he is at peace now, and for that we can be grateful. We lay him to rest here, atop the bluff where he made his honorable and dignified life, so he can remain that comforting presence, the old man on the hill that we have all grown to depend on. You all had your own relationships with him, your own moments, and I implore you to return here when the time is right for you and share those stories with the waves and the trees. Achilles, you will be missed, but never forgotten. Go safely, old man, safely to where your soul need rest.
I will make you proud, old man. Never properly said goodbye to you. I was not ready, so here I am. The weight of my responsibilities never seems to diminish. There is always something else that needs fighting for. This is something you never warned me of. Maybe because you thought I would have been deterred. You would have been wrong, but I know you were not accustomed to that. <laughs> Life carries on here. The people seem happy. They are certainly safe, at least for now. One of my brotherhood asked me something I have been struggling with. What happens if, when, we win? When we stop the Templars? It is a question I certainly do not know the answer to. Perhaps you did not either. I miss you. As I miss my mother. I hope all is well with you. Wherever you are. Goodbye, old man. Until it comes time for me to join you, then I will bother you once again. <laughs>